Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going over a couple of tips and tricks on the new uh, Honor 6X. Uh, we're going to start with uh, a really simple one, but a very important one at the same time, which is um, showing your battery percentage on the home screen. Uh, this doesn't come turned on on the phone, but it's all good. We're going to show you how to do it today. Go ahead and swipe down from the top, swipe to the left, and go to your settings. And from here, we're going to go down to notification panel and status bar, which is right here. And where it says battery percentage, let's see which one. So remaining battery percentage, we want to just check that box. And now at the top here, we'll get to see actually our battery percentage. You can't see it because the phone is so far, so let me show you. But now we'll actually be able to see our battery percentage uh, at the top of the screen. So. Definitely a useful thing during the day, uh, so you actually know how much battery you have left to work with. So that's our first one. So our next little tip is going to be just a, a cool little quick search you have on the home screen. So anywhere on your home screen, by just pulling down the screen, you access your, um, your quick search, which allows you to search apps, uh, contacts, messages, emails, anything on the phone you can search it just with a little tug and it'll also show you some of the, the recently used apps you just used. So it's kind of a shortcut to get back to the apps you've been using frequently. So uh, literally you just pull down, come up. It's very similar to how Apple has their quick search. Probably can say they stole it from them, whatever. But either way, useful feature and now you know about it. Our next one is gonna be uh, a cool tip that's gonna help you really stretch your uh, battery life on the phone. We're gonna go ahead and swipe down from the top, shortcut, go to settings again. This time we're gonna go to Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi up here. And we're gonna go to, at the bottom, the bottom right it says menu. And then we're gonna go to advanced settings. And let's come in a little close so you can actually see what's going on here. Oh, there we go. So, we want to go to where it says keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. Tap on there. This is always set to default. On any Android phone that you pick up, it's always set to default. I like to change it to only when plugged in because basically now your phone, when it's asleep, just like this, it's not always searching for a Wi-Fi signal or it's not downloading or using Wi-Fi. It's only using it if your phone is asleep and it's actually plugged in to power. This will definitely stretch your battery, especially when your phone is sitting there on the nightstand and you're not even touching it. Um, it's just, you know, running, constantly running. So this way the phone is only running if it's plugged into power and Wi-Fi is turned on. So that's just a little tweak I love to do right out of the box. And I definitely see a, a, a vast improvement in battery life because of that tweak. So there is that. Our next uh, little uh, tip here is just the running apps button here. When we hold this, it launches our multitasking, which allows you to run two apps at once. Now it is limited. You don't get access to a lot of apps, um, just a lot of the stock apps, but there is an option to add. So if I hit the plus here, I can add uh, a few more, which when I first tried this, I didn't see the add option. So um, definitely pleased about that. So I can have, you know, um, my work email on there. I could have Twitter, I guess. Again, still limited. You don't get a lot more options, but you can throw a couple more in there as choices. And I actually don't have a ton of apps downloaded on this phone, so I'm sure there's even more than what it's showing right here. But anyway, now I can go ahead and tap, you know, calculator down here. And I don't know, my, um, let's do the notepad up there. So enable that. And now I've got my notes up here, my calculator down here. I can also turn it sideways as well. And it's just really cool being able to do multitasking. And again, all Android phones don't have this feature across the board. So... Um, when a phone has it, I love to highlight it. Let's see, we can, can we drag? 
Yep, we can drag it as well. Hey, so we can make our calculator smaller, our notepad bigger. You definitely get a lot of flexibility there. So that's a little tip right there. And our last little tip is gonna come on the home screen. And basically, it's so funny. I've used this phone for a little while and then one day this just sort of jumped out at me like by accident. So now I gotta show you guys. But basically, just by swiping up from the bottom, you get a little shortcut menu to your voicemail, to your calculator, your flashlight, or your camera. And again, this is a very Apple-esque uh, feature. Definitely something you see on iPhones. They have the control panel, which is bigger and it has more options. But either way, I think it's kind of cool, you know, being able to just launch these right from the lock screen. So um, there is that. So this has been just uh, the tips and tricks on the uh, Honor 6X. And I uh, hope you guys did find this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if you did find it helpful. And make sure you also subscribe to HU Tech videos. And as always, have a good one.